go. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome to my channel. My name is Jack, AKA my real name is actually Jackie, but um, welcome to my channel. For all those who are new, make sure you subscribe and that little button down below. And all my social media is linked also below. Um, so follow me. And so this video, as you saw below, I keep saying below. And that's, I feel like that's really weird. I feel like I'm repeating myself. But anyways, is how to be content. So I'm starting this new series um, because I feel like I watch YouTube all the time. But there's not a lot of like positive vibe videos, you know, like my shirt says, good vibes only. So I decided to start the series called Free To Be Me. And it's just an encouraging series for those who are going through a rough time and knowing that you are beautiful and you are loved and that you can grow. So continue to, um, you know, really look out for really good positive videos. And yeah, it's a good time. I'm outside. I was going to do my intro video in my room, but I thought, hey, good lighting, right? Because we don't really have lighting in Seattle. So let's take this time. But anyways, um, I hope you enjoy the video. And... Love you all. Catch you on the flip side. Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to my channel. So, as you saw in the as you saw in the intro video, this and also the description below that this is how to be content with your life. And so, I have in my hand since I'm not good at memorization, just 10 ways to be content. And so, I am with you probably can't see her, but she's videoing this. Um, I'm with my good friend Christine and we're just out here because what great way to be content than being in the Lord's canvas, Mother Nature itself. And it's such a beautiful day outside. And I live in the Pacific Northwest and we don't have these days, you know, in Seattle, we usually have rain and great weather, but you know, it's okay. So what is being content? So I looked it up on Google. The real, the meaning, not the real meaning, but the meaning of being content is in the state of peaceful happiness which is really hard for a human being because we have all of this society rules, society pressure, we have just, you know, sometimes we just have those bad days and since the world is going through something, we go through these negative days, especially what's happening outside of this country or just in this world, you know, sometimes we forget to really, how do I say? gain happiness or be content so these are just a few ways sorry if I ramble on or if I'm awkward I'm still trying to get used to this whole camera talking YouTube thing but anyways first how to be content is really loving yourself because contentment contentness if that's a word comes from within and I feel like being content is when I first heard the word I was like is that like hippiness like you know how hippies are like so spiritual or zen or whatever but it's true the first step it and so these steps are not really steps they're not in chronological order i should have said that in, in the beginning but these are just 10 ways to be content and so loving yourself really means realizing how beautiful you are and how your mistakes are also beautiful because a mistake is not a mistake unless you repeat it and even the quirky ways about yourself that you don't like love them and embrace them and realize how that you can evolve because as us humans we evolve like we went from like cavemen to basically have this great human like kindness I don't know how to talk but you know you can evolve you can change and so but yourself your personality your soul never changes so love who you are and with that you can that's how you can grow to being content and really being content isn't just a state of being it's really just a process and so with that number two is loving your life because there's no life without you and knowing that you have purpose in this life and that's really hard to really grasp because like sometimes we get so frustrated like why do I need to do this we always have the question of why honestly you don't need to know why just embrace it and love where you are at right now and love your life because it will constantly change but you won't you know you will change as like we're not babies anymore and we're not you know 
it's in every state of life, you, you're a baby, you're a teen, you're this, you're different, but you're still the same. Who you are will probably never change. So love your life. And with that, number three is time. With being content is time because a lot of, and you're like, okay, what does that have to do with anything? Well, there's a past and then there's future, but we tend to forget the present. I mean, if the present was a human, you'd be really sad that we tend to forget about them because we look so much into the future or we look deep in the past with regrets or what we could have done or what we should have done better instead of just living the moment. We forget those little moments that we have because we're always on our phones or we're fast moving. But sometimes you need to just slow down and just take the time to just breathe and realize the moment that we're in and know that we can grow and evolve like I said before and that the past is gone. Like there's nothing you can do about it. And once you realize that, you can also be content. And so with that, uh, some ways to be content is just, I don't know, do what you love. Like sometimes take some time for yourself. Like get your nails done, get your hair done. Like, I don't know, do things that you love to do. I don't, really don't know what guys do. I mean, also guys are all different. I don't know, like, go to the gym or, I don't know, just play with cars. I don't know, we're all different. Just do what you love and be yourself. That is a key thing. Be yourself, don't care what other people say. You do you, boo. And I feel like once people realize, I don't care what other people think. All I care is what I think of myself and what Heavenly Father thinks of me and then you'll be alright, like no one can touch you. Another way of being content is being patient, which is really hard for humankind, being patient. That, that you will get to the place where you need to be. You just have to be patient that you'll get there. And I personally am not patient. Probably my friends and family who are close to me are like, she's making this video, like I'm the least content and the least patient. But you know, it's, everything is just a process and I think this video is all a collective of what people around me have always told me and so yeah be patient and know that you'll get to where you need to be and maybe you'll even get somewhere where you didn't think you'll be but it's even better than what you thought you were gonna be um, another step I don't know what we're Christy are we at four five I even six I don't know I lost count guys I don't know. Um, probably just toss this paper I'm just rambling on but another step I think it's six um, is being honest everybody loves an honest person and you first have to be honest with yourself before you can be honest with the world and that's how people like that's what brings people in you'll have this glow of being honest with yourself and you're probably like how does that have to deal with being content well you know how people are like snap into reality like I need to have reality checks sometimes but being honest with yourself you'll realize where you're where you are and that also ties in with be embracing yourself and you know all these things that I'm saying all tie in together and being honest with yourself is just such a good quality about a person and you know that's how you can be content and really understand the world and understand yourself I have to look back in my paper because I feel like I'm rambling on and okay and another thing probably is number seven don't know where I'm going is aspire like I said we evolve so aspire to big things like if you like cars aspire to do like detail cars or something like have goals love like do something you know I don't know what to say with aspire like it doesn't matter what you do if it helps others and it helps this world then do it and don't care what other people think and yeah, you know, and don't think about the money, you know, sometimes it's good to think about the money and how it can, you know, help you financially, but sometimes you don't have to do things for the money. Aspire to do it for yourself and to help others. Yeah, I still have to look at my thing. With that, since we all have different goals, we all have different paths. Don't compare your path to another person's path because, like I said, we're all different. So be in the path that you are and that helps you being content because I think being content is really looking after yourself and being on your realizing you're on your own path is something so great because you realize I don't like for me I'm 20 and I'm back in community college instead of university and I have to be content that it's okay if I'm not in a university I'm still getting credits and I know that I can pursue my master's that 
I want to pursue and I'm on a different path than my friend Christine and I don't know we all have different struggles and we all have different obstacles but we all end up in the same place in the end and we're all human but you know just realize the path that you're on and in, like I said embrace it and even embrace the obstacles even though they suck they really do just know that you're gonna grow from that and you're gonna get stronger you know and then I have to look at my thing again sorry guys um, and also have ways to help others you know it's always good to help others because it just gives you this feeling of I'm a good person <laughs> and it's just I don't know it's just this feeling of you and you're like how does help others helping others really make me content it'll make you content by realizing how good of a person you are and I'm not saying helping I mean it is I'm not saying you're not a good person if you don't help others but it's just another you know another addition to everything and what else last you know I should just probably just and realizing lastly number 10 I don't even know if this is number 10 or number 50 but anyways realizing that you and love and catch you on the flip side guys.